ask that you be praying with me as the Lord speaks today. Father, we come to you once again. I ask that you equip your servant. Take me back in time. Take me back to the eyes of one of your miracles that you performed. Lord, I thank you, Father, for the opportunity to share with the community and surroundings and nations that this is a day the Lord has made and we all should rejoice and be glad in it. Once again, Lord, we're reminded of the great sacrifice that you surrender yourself to so that we can walk in freedom today, Lord, and have the joy of the Lord as our strength and understanding the joy of your salvation. Lord, I pray today that we'll lighten up, that whatever's plaguing us, Lord, will be dropped. Yes. That our eyes will be open, that we'll see you and follow you. Yes. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Today's message is entitled, Were You There? Amen. You know, yesterday I was doing my spirit walk and I came to the Holy Hill. That's what I'm telling you, I don't avoid the hill. I watch all the other walkers, they, 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 they don't go up the hill. Maybe it's my hill. And they just turn <laughs> and they go down the hill. Okay. So I, 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 don't, I don't cheat on myself. Let me tell you what happens when you cheat on yourself. See, this is why you can't give in to fear. It's programmed. A couple of weeks ago, it began, I walked 40 miles in like three straight weeks. After I did that, I heard my mind tell me, wow, you did very good. See, you've got to understand that you can't praise yourself. Amen. And my mind said, you've done pretty good the last few weeks. You need to take a break from all this walking. I should have put my foot in his mouth. Amen. I want you to understand something. I remembered it. And I heard it. And I accepted the praise. <laughs> and the next two weeks, I didn't make 40 miles. I'd done less. When I could have done 40. It rained, and I said, oh, I got a scoop of that rain before, and I walked when it wasn't raining. It got cold, and I said, I'll stay inside. <laughs> and, but I walked when it was cold before. You see, you've got to be in control of what you listen to. You're always in training. Amen. See, God is training me for miracles. I ask for them. But it begins with what you hear. I, I was listening to something that says, a man becomes what he think about all day. Yes, amen. You better write that down. You become what you think about all day. Now, when I give each one of you an, the assigned chapter or chapters, I'm not picking on you. I'm giving you what you need. Now, each one of you is going to receive a miracle if you do what God asks you to do. Now, I want to share this with you because I, oftentimes we don't, we do what our mind tells us before. The mind programs you, and your mind is telling you that book is so big, I can't read it. You need to put your foot in its mouth. Amen. Amen? Because there's something that's trying to keep you from. But you don't need to read it fast. You need to read the book so that each one of you can support the other when you share. Yes. You can support the other. And not just with the book, but with the scriptures that God and the samples and experiences you have received in your spiritual journey. Amen. Were you there? Mm -hmm. And when I got to the top of the hill, all of a sudden the spiritual came to me. And I remember singing, and, and I used to love to hear my mom sing this song. And I couldn't wait this Easter to Sunday, Resurrection Day, Sunday morning. They're going to sing that song. 
And there's another song. He rose. Yeah, I'm telling you that 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 I and I was even when I wasn't paying attention, I listened to those songs. Amen. Or listen to me. And so that all the time when I heard that song, I didn't have too many playmates, and I still don't. So the animals I fed became my buddies. I didn't know they would get killed and become my food. But Buck, Wilbur, the pig, and all the chickens, I sit on the fence on the post and I was sing. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Oh, sometime. And I look around and I believe Buck had a tear. It makes me want to tremble. Tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Were you there when they nailed him to that tree? Oh, sometimes it makes me want to tremble. When they nailed him to the tree. Well, we're going to turn the service over today to an eyewitness on the scene. Amen. Okay. We're going to turn that service over to our roving reporter Amen. who happened to be a miracle. And I want you to understand. Marmatus, are you on the scene? All right. Well, this is blind, who once used to be blind. Yeah. This is Marmatus, and I'm on the scene reporting, and I heard the news today. Yeah. I mean, I had to get up and stir. You see, I used to be a beggar, but I'm not begging anymore. Yeah. And I, 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 I want you to understand some people. I don't know how to work. Yeah. Because I once was blind. Yeah. But now I see. Right. I want you to understand something. You don't understand my story. I, I'm stirring today and I'm in a rush because I heard yeah. that the miracle work. Yeah. I, I don't know why he, he, he's in trouble, but I want to tell you something. They chose to, they going to crucify him. It's, it's still a crucify and a murderer. I, and a robber, they, they, they choose a, a good man. Yeah. And I'm, I'm on the scene. I got I got a rush because it, it's early morning. Yeah. But you know, I know you know my story. Yeah. I, 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 I'm not just the only story. Yeah. But people have taken my story and now they hear it all over the territory. Yeah. Just like I once heard the story of others and maybe that day. Yell out, Son of David, have, have, have mercy on me. Yeah. You, you don't understand. If I hadn't heard about the miracles, yeah. Amen. I, I wouldn't have wanted one. Yeah. But, but I gotta get, I gotta, I'm telling you, it's not much time. Because I heard about those crucifixions. They just take it in early morning. And, and everybody's at still because it's the Passover. Amen. But 
and I'm crying, I'm writing, I'm rushing to get to Jerusalem. Amen. You want to hear my story? Determine me to Mark chapter 10. Because maybe you don't remember that I was in deep darkness. Yes. Like most of the world around us. Are you listening to me today? And in verse 46, this man, this man that they, they accused falsely. This man, uh -huh. he's the most loving man I ever met. He's the most gentle man. A spoken reed he won't put out. A broken piece of flax, a smoking Blacks he won't put out, a broken reed he won't throw away. Mm -hmm. This man is humble. This man is gentle. But yet, they call him accursed. But I want to tell you how I learned of this man. Because look what it said in verse 46. And he was. He was on his way to Jericho. Yes. I was a blared at that time. Amen. And I asked, you see, everywhere this man go, there's a crowd. Amen. I knew there was no way for me to ever see him, but I heard about it. You see, most of you, they can't see today. Amen. You can hear. Amen. Can you hear the good news? Amen. Yeah. Can you hear the sweetness? Can you hear the voice of God? Yeah. Calling you. Yeah. Even though you can't see. Amen. Can you hear? Amen. I want you to see that I couldn't see. But I could hear. I want you to know that I was just asked them, I said, just get he said, who is this stirring? Who is this stirring? They said, I said, that's the one. That's the one that I heard about. Yes. The one that heals the sick. Yeah. Amen. That opened blind eyes. Oh my. Yes. That raised the dead. Yeah. Amen. He's the one. To cleanse the lepers. Yes. I heard the stories. I, 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 I just, I believe. Amen. You see, you may think I'm crazy. Because, but I'm reporting today. Amen. I'm reporting what I'm going to, what I can see now. Yeah. This man. Is being surrounded by a cohort of soldiers mm -hmm. like he has an army around him. Yeah. Yeah. Can be overtaken anytime. Mm -hmm. But when I heard that it was Jesus, yeah. I cried out. Son of David. Have mercy on me. Yeah. But today, reporting live in Jerusalem. Yeah. I say, Son of David, Amen. mercy be on you. Amen. And everyone was telling me to be quiet. Yes. Amen. I told you once, in order for God to see you, he got to hear you. Amen. That made me lift up my voice all the more. Yes. Because I wanted him to hear me. Yes. Over the crowd. 
Everyone was crying out for him that day. Amen. Wasn't just me, but they could see. Amen. I want you to understand something. I cried out all the more. Son David, have mercy on me. Amen. I want you to see something. The reason why I can see today and I can report today. Because he called out to me. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Oh, you don't understand what I'm saying. I was stuck in blindness. Yeah. yeah. I was stuck in a life without a way other than begging. Yeah. If I got enough to eat that day, I was thankful for it. But I don't know how to work anymore. Yeah. yeah. I never had a job. Amen. So I'm reporting. What I see. He called to me. He said, Come here. Now, I want you to understand something. He didn't come to me. Amen. See, that one thing I tell you when you're blind, you can hear. I just followed the voice that called me. Amen. You ain't with me yet. Come on. Amen. You see, many of you are blind. You don't understand the gospel. You don't understand the good news of Jesus Christ. How to come to heal them and save that which was lost. Yeah. Ain't you don't have to see it. Amen. To believe. Amen. Amen. You just need to hear it. Yes. And receive. And his disciples came over. They didn't offer me pity. They didn't put anything in my cup. They didn't grab me by the arm and say, we'll lead you. Look what they say. Take courage. Yeah. Arrive. You see, you don't understand. He said, he is calling you. I'm telling you today. Some of you been walking around in fear. Amen. You've been walking around in disease. Amen. You've been walking around in torment and plague. Yeah. Because you claim to see. Amen. But you can't see. You see that blindness that I was blinded by. It symbolizes a deep darkness and separation from God. Yes. I'm talking about the God, the creator of heaven and earth. Amen. The one that sent, the one that I'm reporting about today, that they call a curse. Yes. Look what he said to me. Look what they came, his apostles, the helpers came and said to me. Take courage. Yeah. Take courage. I'm telling you today, when the world around you is blind, take courage. Amen. And rise. For he's calling out to you. He calls you every time you gather. He calls you every time you read his word. He calls you every time you pray. He calls you when you worship. He calls you to you. Amen. Come out of your blindness. Come out of your fear. Come out of your worry. Come out of your sickness. Amen. And I got up. I didn't have much clothing. I'm a beggar. But I threw over my cloak because I'm going, I recognize this man. I heard his story. He's worthy of my best. Amen. I didn't come to him. I come to him and I walked with my best walk. Yeah. Amen. You didn't understand what I just said. Yeah. I didn't come lazy. Yeah. Amen. 
And then come sometime. I don't know when he's going to pass. Y'all ain't get it. This way again. Amen. So I had to come. As I'm approaching a miracle. Amen. Amen. Because I already made up my mind. Mm -hmm. You didn't hear me. Yes. Amen. I'm tired of begging. Yes. I'm, I'd rather see. Amen. All right. And depend on what man gives to me. Yeah. The fear of worry about getting a job. I'm taking courage and rising. Amen. I'd rather see. I want you to see that I jumped up and I came to him. Yeah. You see. I didn't have no problem seeing where he was Amen. when I couldn't see. Amen. You didn't hear me. Uh -uh. Amen. Because I heard him. Yeah. I, I, even, I, I want to tell you people that are going to read my story later. You got television today. Uh -huh. Amen. You got cell phones and instant video and updates. Yeah. But you still can't see. Amen. Because you got to see before you believe. Yeah. Excuse me. You got to believe before you see. Yeah. You got to see inside that you hold. You got to see inside you've been set free. Amen. And he asked me with the most gentle voice. I'm talking about, I knew he was talking to me. And all the people that came to see him, he was talking to me. Amen. Amen. I couldn't see him, yes. but I could hear him. Amen. Amen. Talk to me. Yeah. What do you want me to do? You see, I, I'm reporting today. Looking back, I'm trying to help you get a miracle on this great day. Yeah. Amen. You don't have time to get it together when he's talking to you. Yeah. yeah. Amen. You don't have time to figure it out when he's talking to you. Amen. You got to know what you want. Amen. I'm telling you, I didn't have any other choice. I didn't need a donkey. Amen. Uh -huh. I didn't need a farm. Amen. I wanted to see. Yes. That's all I need. Amen. You see, when the miracle worker talks to you, you some of you are scared to give up your sickness. You're scared to give up your fear because your fear means you lose control. You won't Amen. sleep in your t-shirt that you went to the store in. Amen. You lose your control. Yes. You got to figure it out. Figure it out. Figure it out. When you see your bank account drying up, you find the people you can borrow from. Instead of believing God and saying, God says, stop shopping. Right. You're scared God might cut you off on Amazon Prime. Amen. You're scared God may tell you to cut up the credit card. Amen. You're scared God may tell you don't go through the drive through no more. Don't go out and eat no more. Amen. Until you pay your bill. You're still blind. Yes. You don't want to see. But that day, I told him what I wanted. Yes. And I can report to you today because I can see. Amen. I just want to give you my background. I know it's written down 
down at the bottom of the screen, you can see it. My credentials. Uh -huh. You see, I'm Barnabas. Yes. What you, what I'm telling you about, is where I used to be. Yeah. Blind Barnabas, yeah. the beggar. I got firsthand news of the miracle worker. Are you listening to me? I got firsthand news of the miracle worker today. And I said, teacher, Rabona, uh -huh. in my language. Yes. I want you to say something to you. Stop trying to make it hard and complicated. Amen. Just tell him what you want. Amen. When you pray for others, just pray for them like you are them. Yes. Amen. You know what they need. Amen. You know what they're struggling with. Yes. You know what I. I just want to see. Amen. See, you've been seeing all your life. You can see the beauty of a dogwood tree. Yes. But you can't see the miracle worker. Amen. When he said, Come to me. All you who have heavy laden and burden, I'll give you rest. You wait a whole year and so you're still burdened and laden. I give you rest. Take courage and rise. Amen. And I want you to understand something. He didn't spit in my eyes. Amen. He didn't make new eyeballs. Yes. He didn't make me go back through my mother's womb and come back a new person. Yes. He simply said these words. I believe these words are good enough for you today, April the 2nd, 2021. Amen. These are the words from the man that crucified. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to give you my background because I'm getting ready to give you the report of what I see. Amen. Go your way. I want you to understand I didn't hesitate to wonder where is the way. Mm -hmm. Amen. I didn't wonder about how I'm going to make it tomorrow without begging. Amen. Y'all, you don't get it. I don't know how I'll make it without being afraid that I don't have enough to eat. Yeah. He didn't answer all that for me because I only asked him to give him my sight. Amen. And he said this to you. Go your way. Amen. Your faith. I want you to see something here has made you well. I want you to talk to you today. Bar May is reporting. Yes. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what faith was. But something about my calling to him Amen. Made him call out to me. Yeah. Amen. I'm talking to you today that you can hear his voice. Yeah. Harden not your heart. Amen. Come to him. Yeah. Your faith will make you whole. Yeah. And I want to tell you something. It was like the sound of lightning and the, and the spurs crying out, singing in the morning. Immediately. Immediately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I regained my sight. Mm -hmm. Amen. I want you to see something today. The reason why I'm in Jerusalem. Well, you ain't ready for me. The reason why I got this job and got this mic and I can talk about what's going on in Jerusalem. I've been following Christ. Amen. I want you to 
you to understand something. This blindness is spiritual. This blindness is what keeps you from all that God has for you. As I sit and listen to him talk, no good thing would God withhold from you. But yet you can't see. But sin? Now I see! Sin! I have the fullness of who God is. Yeah. I can see that God is good all the time. I can see his mercies endure forever. I see that I can follow him wherever he goes. You see, he didn't tell me which way to go. I didn't go to the bar. Amen. I didn't go to the casino. Yeah. I didn't go on a cruise. I didn't go do the things that I heard other people do, but I couldn't do because I can't see. Amen. He left it up to me to see which way I go. Yeah. I chose to follow him. Amen. So, were you there? Amen. Were you there? I'm going to talk to you today about a few people I see in the crowd that's there. Go ahead. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Blindness is idolatry. It's whatever you put in your life before God. I'm saying to some of you, you got to change your habits, but you think it's too big for God. What's wrong? You may have to count calories. Undo what's been done. Yes. You know that I was afraid of counting calories? I left it for other folks to look like a string bean. And then all of a sudden, I'm complaining about my, my friend because he couldn't quite hit the ball. And I was mad. I didn't tell him, but I was running all over the park. But God sent him to tell me about counting calories. Did you know I was afraid to count calories? Because I thought it was going to confine me and restrict me. I'm on week four and it's a joy to count calories because it liberates me. Amen. I feel healthier than I ever had. Take courage. Amen. See, you've got to listen to, to the one they crucified today. Yes. Yeah. He's Amen. still speaking. What is he talking to you about in your life? What are you willing to Follow him in. Follow me. Go your way. Your faith has made you well. Amen. Do you feel his presence today? Yeah. Sin is following God's way. That's it. I want you to know that God used me, Barnabas. He used my story just like the stories I heard that made me cry out to him. Amen. Yes, there's a lot of stories, folks. There's a lot of news about what the miracle worker can do. Yes. There's a lot of stories about how he touched a woman who had a dead son in name. A widow. There's a lot of news about the woman that brought her daughter that was demonized. Yeah. There's a lot of stories today. I, oh, there I see. I see the man with the little withered hand. He, he's in the crowd. Yeah. Witnessing. Yeah. I can't get to him. 
I would interfere. But there he is. Amen. Amen. And the look on his face is an astonishment. Why would they kill a miracle worker? Yes. Were you there? Oh, there he is. He's standing there watching. There's Zacchaeus. Yes. He's, he's sobbing. But you don't know the story of Zacchaeus. Amen. I'm going to interview Zacchaeus. Amen. Zacchaeus, what brought you out of the early morning hours to be here in Jerusalem to, to witness such a hideous event? When I interviewed him, Zacchaeus said, Today, can take the Passover. Amen. Amen. Today, I don't have to hide in my house. You don't understand what I'm talking about. Amen. All these years, I had all these riches. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> When the Passover came, mm -hmm. I would begin to eat the lamb. And I spit it out. Because it was dry. It just didn't cook it right. Well, no. Because I didn't believe. take my own life because there was nobody to fellowship with yeah. I was just isolated I'm the top chief tax gatherer Amen. and all I had as friends were crooks Amen. robbers Thieves. You see, you don't understand my life. I was considered a traitor and I was considered worthless, a dead dog on the road. Amen. I was in Jericho, one of the richest ports in that time of Bosom and the bomb of Gilead. Yeah. Yes, amen. I was there where they made the perfume that was costly. Yeah. Amen. And I got the taxes over all of it. Yes. And I put a quarter over the top of, for me. Uh -huh. Amen. I want you to understand. I couldn't go to synagogue. Yeah. I couldn't lift my hands to God. Yes. Amen. People spit at me, kicked at me, throw dust in my face. Yeah. But I was where to find his clothes. Amen. Yeah. I had the great best servants. You know why I'm here today? Because he showed me his salvation. Amen. I don't know why I didn't go pluck his beard. I don't know why they would beat him and make fun of him, mock him, and, I, and I'm standing here today because I gave him all. Amen. I gave everything to the miracle worker. Amen. I want you to understand something, that he gave me life. Amen, yes. 
once was dead. But now I'm found. Amen. And since I've given everything back, the people have said to me. Yeah. I don't understand why all this is going on. We was I was following him. Amen. Yes. And it led me to this day. Zacchaeus. You see, you don't understand. My name. I was born with a good name. My name means pure and innocent. But I was came everything but. Yeah, amen. But he saw me from yeah. what I was. Yeah. And not what I became. Amen. I can never forget. You see, Matthew told me about it. Amen. All the they tried to reach me. All the tax gatherers that he ate with yeah. and the publicans, they used to tell me about him. Amen. Yeah. They tell me the good things that he was doing. How he was feeding the poor. How the miracles of 4,000 that he fed yeah. out of five fish and two loaves. Yeah. And I would say to him, have you lost your mind? That's five fish and two loaves and multiply. We've got to get the taxes on that. Amen. But here I am. You don't understand, Barnabas. I made a decision. Yes. I can't live this way anymore. Amen. So I decided. I heard that he was coming. Yeah. Just like you, Brian Bar Barnabas. Yeah. I couldn't see him. Amen. But I heard he was coming to Jericho. Yeah. Amen. So I ran. I left my station. Amen. And I ran out to meet him. I couldn't see because I was so small. Yeah. And there were so many people. Yeah. But I made my mind up that day. I needed to see who these people were talking about because I heard the stories of the miracle work. Amen. Amen. So I, like the children, I climbed up in the tree. I didn't care who was watching me. Amen. I just want to see him. Mm -hmm. I just want to see him. I just wanted to see the, the one who became so famous in such a short period of time. Yeah. So once in a lifetime, Barmaids. Amen. But I made my mind up. I needed a change. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And Lord and behold, he looked up and saw me. Yes. Yeah. I want you to understand something. He said today, I'm coming to your house, D. Amen. I, I shock. Nobody comes to my house. Amen. Because nobody want to be seen, be in association with me. Because if you saw seen coming up the road to my house, you'll be excommunicated. This man had no reputation of his own. Amen. He, through obedience, chose to cross. Yeah. Amen. I watched him all night, Barnabas. He didn't say a humbling word. Amen. 
He just said this. I was like, I wanted to speak for him. He just said, so you say I am. Yes. Were you there? He says, salvation has come to your house. Yes. Amen. He called me a son of Abraham. Amen. I can eat the Passover. Yeah. Oh, 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 how good it tastes. Yeah. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. You know, when you taste of the goodness of God, it opens up your treasures. Amen. And I just said, I'm tired of robbing. Mm -hmm. I never had such love in my high presence. Amen. And so I gave half of what I had for the poor. Yeah. I read the heat distributed to the poor. Yeah. I heard it. Yeah. And I said, anybody that I defrauded, I'm giving back one for. Yeah. Barmaid, you don't understand. I quit being a publican that day. Yeah. I gave everything up. Just like you. I don't know any other job. Amen. So I'm following. That's how I got here, Barmaeus. Amen. I was following the miracle worker. Yeah. Well, what did you see? Well, turn with me to Matt, to Mark. Chapter 14. Let me say, uh, and verse 15, and you'll see. You see, there's a record of this now, Barmaeus. It's recorded what I saw. I want to ask you, were you there? Because look down in verse 16. And the soldiers took him away to the palace. They called together the whole Roman cohort. I want you to understand, Barmaeus. Are y'all ready for this? Everybody forsake them. But yet they thought a whole army was going to come and attack them, so they put an army around him. The whole Roman cohort was surrounding the miracle work. Were you there? And I heard in the crowd, the people, the same people that thrown and sin do miracles. The same people who followed him daily for fishes and loaves yep. shouted these words. Y'all ready? Y'all ain't ready for this. I got ready to say something. Crucify. Amen. Yeah. I, I don't you, Martin Mays, I know this is prime time television news. But they were saying the hell with him. Amen. The hell with him. I want you to understand, Martin Mays. I know what that sounds like. Because Amen. that's what they used to say about me. Yeah. Amen. Why, man, you don't understand. It's like he took my place. Amen. He took my shame. Amen. Oh, my, 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 my. He took my grief. Amen. He took my sorrow. Yeah. Do you hear it? The crucified. They treated him like a dead dog. They treated him like a worthless. They treated him like he's not even the son of David. Amen. He 
took my place. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Were you there? I'm asking you today. Were you there? Hold it, Zacchaeus. I'm losing my composure. Because I'm reminded that now I can see yeah. when I once couldn't see. Amen. Go on, brother. I want you to keep on reading down. It says they 19, they said they kept beating him. I watched them beat him. Barmaids. They beat him in the head. They bruised him up, but they didn't break a bone. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you, Barnabas, that this miracle worker is a strong man. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like he's taking it for you and me. Amen. I want you to see something he said. And with the reed and spinning on it, they, they, oh, you don't understand, Barnum, man. That's what they used to do with me. Yeah. Uh -huh. They would spit on me. Yeah. They would spit on me. Oh, Barnumaeus. I see another witness. I see. There's the woman at the well. Amen. She's here too. She's a Samaritan. Yeah. How did she get all the way here this time in the morning? Yeah. Oh, I see the woman. Say, black ball man. There, there's so many witnesses here. Yeah. Who the miracle worker touched? Yeah. Ask my viewer and all of this. Were you there? Were you there? Some of you have left the scene today. You've already wandered off back to blindness. Yeah. Were you there? Because there's a woman. It was about the stone. Yeah. She's crying. Amen. She's crying out to him. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. For saving my soul. Yeah. Do you do you hear? What's a beautiful voice? They still beat them. And now they're making a mockery of him. Yeah. They took his robe off. He's he stands in shame. Amen. Naked, bruised, yeah. bleeding. Yeah. They've taken him to whip him. And they press into service their assignment. He's taking his cross. I want you to see who is that running up to him? She had a veil around her face. Oh, there she, she's wiping his face from his bruised face, his bleeding face. Tradition has it, my Bible, that the woman with the issue of blood was in the crowd. Yes. I want to ask you today, were you there? Amen. Tradition has her name as Veronica. Or Bernice. 
Bernice in the Greek or the Latin. She ran from the crowd when Jesus grunted and stumbled. She took her veil off her face and wiped his face. And when she received the veil back, the image of Jesus' face is still on that veil. Tradition has it. That the Roman Catholic Church and the pious papacy still have that veil. They have a lot of the relics in the upper chamber of the back. Ironically, I don't, tradition has it that her and her husband, Zacchaeus, evangelized southern of France. Her veil was used to heal Empress Tiberius from leprosy or unknown illness. She became Saint Veronica. You see, they, Bartimaeus, there she is. She's running up to him. She's crying out to him by his stripes. Amen. I am healed. Yes. I want to ask you today, were you there? Were you there? I want you to stand. Can you hear them 
Zacchaeus. My God, this was the Son of God. There I see. There's Jarius standing in the crowd with his daughter. There I see the man that was born blind that had no eyes. There I see in the crowd a man who was at the pool of Salaam who picked up his bed and followed Jesus. Yeah. Were you there? Turn with me to Matthew chapter 27. What's going on? There's a disturbance in the temple. The priests are running out. They're saying something. Can you hear it? The veil, the veil, the veil has been ripped from top to bottom. Only God could tear it from top to bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Only God could tear it. It was such a perfect woven structure that nothing could rip it apart. Yeah. What's going on outside the temple? The Lamb of God. that takes away the sins of the entire world. And in Matthew chapter 27, in verse 51, and behold, in verse 50, and Jesus cried out again, with a loud voice and yielded up his spirit. And behold, the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And the earth shook and the rocks were split. And the tombs were opened. And many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming out of the tombs after his resurrection, they entered the holy city and appeared to many. I want you to understand something. They didn't walk in that day when Christ was crucified, but the tombs was open. Amen. They came in a second after Jesus stood up. Amen. They came out of the grave as a sign to tell you that you will rise. Amen. I want to talk to you today. I'm can you see? Yeah. I'm, black, I'm Bartimaeus. I'm reporting. Can you see? Can you see now? Are you willing to follow him with all your life, with all your heart, with all your strength? Can you see? Can you see beyond your problems? Can you see beyond your, where you're at today? Can you see the hope that he gives you, the life that he gives you, that nothing can take it away? Can you see? Yeah. Were you there? Were you there? Now the centurion and those who were with him keeping guard over Jesus when they saw the earthquake and the things that was happening became very frightened and said truly this was the son of God. Amen. This is Barnabas reporting. An eyewitness to such a tragic day. Amen. But such a day of victory. Yes. For those who believe. Amen. Because if the enemy would have known, they would have never crucified him. Yes. But he took your place. Amen. He bore your sorrows. Yeah. Amen. He bore your griefs. Yes. He bore all your pains by his stripes. You were healed. Amen. Were you there? Every eye closed. Every head bowed.
Father, we thank you for your word today. Present to us and dramatizing and animation. But visually we can see, visually, the effects of the day, a good day that you made in our lives today. In Jesus' name we pray. It's good news. Amen. We're there. Amen. 